This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. I came across this exciting news about EPFL and DeepMind using AI to control plasmas for nuclear fusion. I wanted to understand it from a layman's perspective. So let's look at what is plasma, what is nuclear fusion before even going into this article. Okay. So what is plasma? Plasma is a state of matter along with solids, liquids and gases. When a neutral gas is heated such that some of the electrons are freed from the atoms or molecules, it changes state and becomes a plasma. It consists of partially ionized gas containing ions, electrons and neutral atoms. Okay. So this is what is plasma. It's a state of matter. Okay. Now what is nuclear uh, fusion? Fusion is the power that drives the sun and stars. In this process, light elements, uh, it combines light elements in the form of plasma, the hot charged state of matter composed of free electrons and atomic nuclei that generates massive amounts of energy. Scientists are seeking to replicate fusion on earth for a virtually inexhaustible supply of power to generate electricity. Okay. I will be putting this link in the description of the video for you to understand more about fusion or plasma. Now let's go back to the main article. Okay. So what they are saying over here is that EPFL Swiss Plasma Center, okay, it has decades of experience in plasma physics and plasma control methods. Okay. DeepMind is a subsidiary of uh, Alphabet or Google. Okay. Now together DeepMind and EPFL, they have developed a new magnetic control method for plasmas based on deep reinforcement learning. And they have applied it to a real world plasma for the first time in SPCs tokamak research facility okay so what is this tokamak tokamaks are nothing but donut shaped devices for conducting research on nuclear fusion and the spc is one of the few research centers in the world that has one in operation okay now what do these devices do they use a powerful magnetic field to confine plasma at extremely high temperatures hundreds of millions of degrees of celsius even hotter than the sun's core so that nuclear fusion can occur between hydrogen atoms. The energy released from this fusion, they are uh, being studied for use in generating electricity. Okay. And uh, this SPC tokamak is unique because it has some variety of plasma configurations. Hence its name variable configuration tokamak. Okay. Scientists can use it to investigate new approaches for confining and controlling plasmas. And the configuration of a plasma relates to its shape and position in the device. Okay. Now, tokamaks form and maintain plasmas through a series of magnetic coils whose settings, especially voltage, must be controlled carefully. Otherwise, the plasma would collide with the vessel walls and deteriorate. To prevent this from happening, SPC researchers have, uh, they are basically, they test these control systems using a simulator before testing them on the tokamak. Okay. So they say that simulator is based on 20 years of research and it is updated continuously. But even so, lengthy calculations are still needed to determine the right value for each variable in the control system. Okay, that's where they say this uh, project with DeepMind comes in. So this is a 3D model of a, uh, what you call TCV vacuum vessel, basically the tokamak containing the plasma surrounded by variable coils for producing those magnetic fields. Okay. So what DeepMind has done is that their experts have developed an AI algorithm that can create and maintain specific plasma configuration and they and trained it on the SPC simulator. Okay. So this involved first having the algorithm try many different control strategies in simulation and gathering experience based on the collected experience. The algorithm generated a control strategy to produce the requested plasma configuration. So this involved first having the algorithm run through a number of different settings and analyze the plasma configurations that resulted from each one. Then the reverse was done. The algorithm was called to work the other way to produce a specific plasma configuration by identifying the right settings. Okay. So after being trained, the AI system was able to create and maintain a wide range of plasma shapes and advanced configurations, including one where two separate plasmas are maintained simultaneously in the vessel. This was also the research team then tested this new system directly on the tokamak. Okay. So this is what they did. Um, so this seems to be a phenomenal achievement, uh, you know, for both a algorithms as well as in the field of nuclear fission. 
I am not an expert in uh, physics new of nuclear fusion, but uh, from a layman's perspective, when I read this article, it seems to be a stupendous achievement. Okay, so there was this paper also released uh, by DeepMind. Okay, so I went to the paper. Uh, this is a Nature article. So when I went to the paper to understand a little bit more, so they have explained over here uh, the representation of the components of the controller design architecture. So one is uh, this is the depiction of the learning uh, loop. Okay, the controller sends voltage commands on the basis of the current plasma state and control targets. These data are then uh, sent to the replay replay buffer, which feeds the data to the learner to update the policy. Okay, our environment interaction loop consists of a power supply uh, model, a sensing model, environment physical parameter. A variation and reward computation. Our control policy is an MLP, so they are using a multi-layer perceptron or a neural network with with three hidden layers. Okay, that takes measurements and control targets, uh, output voltage commands. Okay, so that is what is this A B C D? Okay, where you have your uh, power supply uh, model, you have a sensing model, you have an environment uh, physical variation model. Okay. And the reward computation, and uh, the control policy is coming from this, you know, neural network or multi-layer perceptron. Okay. Then the bottom part is the interaction of the TCV, which is this tokamak, uh, and the real-time deployed control system. Okay, real-time deployed control system implemented using either a conventional control consists of many sub-components or you know directly this neural network architecture. Using a single deep neural network to control all the 19 coils over here. So this is a depiction of TCV with 19 actuated coils. Okay, and there are some measurements of the vessel over here. Okay, so the core idea is that DeepMind, along with EPFL researchers, have developed a deep learning based re or re reinforcement uh, deep learning based algorithm to actually generate the Control system, basically the control system parameters for controlling the magnetic coils over here to maintain the plasma shape. Okay, that's the whole point of this work. Okay, so to me, see, uh, as a layman, uh, this seems like a fantastic work, but uh, I'm not an expert in physics or nuclear fusion. So uh, uh, if somebody from the phys uh, physics background, uh, you know, people would come up with uh, a review of this paper and other things. It would be interesting to read. I will also put the description of this paper in uh, the, basically the link of this paper in the description of the video. Uh, you can uh, look at it. Okay. I hope you find this uh, interesting um, news, a video on this interesting news useful. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in a new video. Happy learning.